Hey YouTube, Hindsight here. And this is a pair of my Mica Kovo S speakers. And unfortunately, one of them fell off of the shelf in my bathroom and busted apart. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys inside of one of these speakers to see kind of what you are getting for the price. So one, this one here is still in intact. You can see it there. I'll give you a little spin around. What I love about these speakers is they have the five-way binding posts that do accept most banana plugs. Uh, just un unheard of at that this price point. These were 40 bucks originally when they were available. Now, I don't even think you can get them. Uh, last I saw, they were $45. I don't know if they're quite worth that. And then of course, they've got the small little port here. Uh, so you're probably familiar with that and there's a piece of the wire that came out of them So you're probably familiar with these um, If you know much about speakers well, you can see this one's kind of leaning because it's the one that busted so let's open it up uh, Here and first thing we'll take a look at is this Driver assembly and the front baffle here and I will even take this off if I can so here is the speaker grill cover. These are still actually in great shape and not bad speaker grill covers. Just simple cloth that you find a lot of them. So there you see the mica. So you know that that's actually what it is. We'll set this aside. So here's your driver assembly. I did not take the time to uh, unbolt it from this because I didn't know if that was really necessary or was going to show us anything more. But you see this is a decent looking driver here. It's pretty substantial. It's not huge but this is after all like they say it's a three inch it's barely i mean maybe almost all the way across there is three inches but it's barely a three inch coaxial driver uh here is where one part of the speaker was connected the positive and positive negatives probably went to the tweeter and then under here you can see where these wires are coming out that's where the woofer was connected I do believe. Now, I just went ahead and, and yanked this. We'll get this guy out of here for now. I always went ahead and yanked this out because I'm not going to be able to use this again. It's falling apart. I have no need for it, so that's why the wires are, are stripped there. But there's your driver. This is not bad. It's fairly heavy. I mean, I think it, these weigh two pounds. Um, so I can tell that there's some weight to this, the magnet in there. It's pretty substantial. And for the time that I had them, which has been about three and a half years now, they work quite well and did their job, but they just didn't stand the test of time when it comes to the application of using them in a bathroom. Um, as you can see, uh, there's some wear and tear on them. This one's not actually showing it too bad, but here, look at this, this one. This one is definitely showing the wear and tear there. You can see that I, I didn't do that. That was starting to pull out that way. I believe there's another one. Yeah. It's kind of in a couple places, but you can see this is a very thin vinyl wrap. Cheap. They're, they're, they're cheap speakers. I didn't want anything expensive in my bathroom that was just going to get ruined. So let's look inside the box. You get some nice stuffing. The interesting thing is that um, the port is a cardboard tube. Oops. It's gone now. You get the idea. But there's nothing special about it. Not an S-curve or anything. It's just a cardboard tube there for the port. I guess it did its job, but the, these things really did not have great, amazing base. They get lower than you might expect for a four inch cube, but they had nothing great. And there's, there is some stuffing. Hold on some resonance. Here are the wires that came from the banana plugs there. And there's, let's see, you can kind of see down in there, the banana plug. Speaker connection assembly down inside of there. So not bad. Pretty thin, thin, thin box. You can see there. But so this is what you get for a $40 coaxial speaker that sounds decent, clear, maybe not necessarily a lot of bass, but still sounds good. And I, I liked them. They, they were great for a bathroom and they did their job for three and a half years. I feel like I got my money's worth out of them, but uh, their day has come. I do still have one that works just great. I don't know if I'll get rid of that or just hold on to it as it's doesn't one speaker really doesn't do me a lot of good. You would not want to use this for a center channel, that's for sure. So that's a look inside of the Mica 
Kovo S speaker. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe.